Hey, Sammy fam. Welcome to the show. Sammy boys, Sammy girls, all my non-binary Sammys, whatever you want to be. I don't care. I'm just glad you're here and we're having fun together with this super crunchy chicken. Can you guess where it's from? Just looking at that flaky texture. I bet you might already know. It's Popeye's chicken, which I have never... Please don't fall, baby. Please don't fall, baby. Baby, please don't fall. There we go. I have never had like Popeyes just fried chicken. I've only had the sandwich, which the sandwich is good. It's very good actually, but I wanted to try the fried chicken because I've always had bad experiences with fast food chicken uh, and not really frequented it because it made me feel bad and didn't taste good. But this already I can tell doesn't seem like over, overly oily or anything. So let's give her a dip here. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. That's some good chicken though. You know I got the spicy. I love how it maintains the crunch. Mm. This is the best fast food chicken I've ever had. I'm calling it right now. When I was a kid, um, very rarely would have fast food. And even less so would have KFC or any other type of fast food chicken because my mother's a doctor. My father has like seven percent body fat. Seven percent body fat. Liter literally, I really mean that. And nowadays, they're pretty much um, vegetarians. Some fish, you know. They're kind of pescatarians, but mainly vegetarians. Unless they travel, then sometimes I can convince them to like eat meat when they visit me. Oh yeah, look at this wing. That wing. So when I was growing up, we were eating very healthy in the home. And I'm not hating on that. I'm just giving you guys like context. So I remember one time we got KFC And it was like we had my brother's girlfriend at the time, now his wife, over. And um, her mom, I think. Maybe they brought us KFC or something. I don't know. This cheese sauce is so spicy. But we had KFC for dinner and then... We were going to go out, my brother, his girlfriend, her mom, and I were going to go out to like a Baskin Robbins. So this is heaven for me, you know, a kid who usually just eats health food. I have a lot of vegetarian food. But I started feeling so bad in the car and like just ripping these crazy, they weren't farts because they hadn't come down through me yet, but they were coming out of my mouth. Crazy belches. I was burping and it tasted like farts. It was like methane gas coming out of my mouth. This is actually still moist. It was wild and I felt so bad and I didn't eat KFC for a long time after that. Mm. I found out later in life um, that if you don't eat much 
fat content in your diet and suddenly you like eat a huge amount of fat content, it can throw off your digestive system and do weird things like that. Mm. I love this biscuit. So I think that's what happened to me. It happened to me one other time in college when um, I was doing like tempura at home for the first time. And I've been living basically off spinach salads for a long time because it was how I saved money in college. And that threw my digestive system for a loop. But ever after that, every time I try KFC chicken, it just seems greasy and nasty and flavorless. And like, this has tons of flavor. And I actually just had a thought. I need one more thing. Since we got that Louisiana chicken, we gotta get the Louisiana hot sauce. This is one of my favorite hot sauces, Crystal. Now that, that is pure beauty right there. Now you guys can't see it behind all this chicken, but I also have a big tub of rice and beans. I love these rice and beans. Mm. My wife turned it on to it. She told me this is her favorite side. And they do make a good rice and bean. You can tell there's a, there's a lot of like animal fat in here. It's very porky flavored. I love making rice and beans at home. When I make it though, it's usually like a more southwestern vegetarian-y dish, you know, lots of uh, peppers and chilies and stuff in there, and tons of beans. God, I love beans. Everybody talks like trash on these biscuits, but that's not too dry. That's not like a hockey puck. And they had a fresh batch. I love the flavor, especially, I gotta tell you about this cheese sauce. Now this cheese sauce is the same batch that I was using when I filmed a seafood boil video. So during that video, I actually poured in like all the extra sauce from the seafood boil bags into here and mix it right in. Well, this is dirty, dirty, good, satisfying. So this is super spicy and savory and kind of lobstery. It's the best seafood, or it's the best cheese sauce I've ever had. And I'd already put tons of like garlic in it too. And I think some hot sauce, so. There's like a whole bayou party right here in terms of all the flavors going on. Oh, this is a big boy. I love the little crumblies. Fried chicken is a rare treat for me because I know. I'm not going to feel great after this, but it feels great while I'm doing it. You know what I love? I don't think they gave me a single breast. bones in there and that's totally okay because I'm a leg man I don't care about them chicken titties I love the darker more flavorful meat higher fat content that's where the flavor is I don't know where this whole
100% white meat chicken thing came from. Sounds racist to me. And it'll just like... Denies the wonderful flavor. Of the darker pieces of chicken. Which taste better and are more moist. Wild. But the good thing that comes from that... Is that... All non-breast meat cuts of chicken... Become cheaper. Though apparently, the popularity of wings is driving up wing meat prices a lot. To the point that even um, Wingstop has like announced looking into. Using like thighs and drumsticks. Which I think is great. Wing shops should branch out. Even if their their name, their branding's a little bit limiting. Like their seasonings and their breading are, you know, the flavor and that could go on any piece of chicken, who cares? I like wing stops, um, boneless anyway, and those are like just nice chicken nuggets basically with flavor. I've never understood the like hardcore love some people have for um, like chicken nuggets at McDonald's. It seems to have like almost a religion of followers around it. I think part of that is people who grew up being taken to McDonald's and like that's the thing little kids order, I guess. So it's the comforting nostalgia. But as someone who did not grow up with McDonald's and only really tried chicken nuggets in adulthood, they're just like weird compressed ground leftover meat with like a soggy breading around the outside. It's not even crispy. Like Wingstop is crispy and flavored. There's no flavored ones at Taco Bell. It's just bland. You have to use the dipping sauces. Which can be good, but I want some flavor in the meat. In the breading. Of course, then I think about it, I realize that if you put flavor in the meat or in the breading, someone's not going to like that flavor. And then they're not going to want chicken nuggets. But if you put it in the sauce, people can get whatever sauce they want. So it's more people who like the base bland product. And then you sauce it up later. not alienating anybody who's afraid of flavor which it seems like a lot of Americans are let's be real I mean that's the same rationale behind a lot of like fast food burgers they're based on like a dry, thin patty with no flavor to it except for maybe some salt. Well, probably actually way too much salt. And then throughout the year, whatever restaurant chain will rotate through a series of topping choices and call them, you know, a quote, new burger. And usually they'll just keep like bacon and cheese as options on their menu permanently. But it's like, you can only do so much with a sauce 
to improve upon something that's already bland and bad. That's why I hate like most fast food burgers. I especially hate if you go to a fast food place and they don't like if you're just getting a regular burger, if they don't put enough uh, like mayonnaise on it, then it's just horribly dry. I'd rather the juice came from the meat, but the only place you're really going to get that is like if you order the the fresh, never frozen beef um, thicker patties at McDonald's. Those are a little bit nicer, but they cost a little bit more, so I don't think they sell very well because mainly what you see advertised are like Big Macs and they're cheap double cheeseburgers and stuff. Which when you try them, like that patty is nothing. You gotta admit it, guys. This is actually good because this coating, it stands on its own. And I need some water now. Oh my god. I'm going to have to go low sodium the rest of this week. Oh, thank you, Shakespeare's Pizza Cup. Keeping me hydrated through hard times. Got to rep that college pizza place. Go Mizzou. Go Tigers. Look that crispiness. Mm. I really want to make some more of my own fried chicken soon. I might end up using like a um, a boneless cut, like a boneless thigh, so I can do a sandwich with it. Because I'm missing um, a dish I made a long time ago. Do you guys remember? God, was it a year ago or two years ago? Cheetos and um, KFC had a deal with the new Cheeto sandwich or like Cheetos chicken sandwich or whatever they called it. And I got so excited because I thought it meant that they were going to make a Cheetos dust to mix in with the, you know, the coating or actually grind up Cheetos to make a coating for the chicken. No, all the sandwich was was a tiny bun, like a little tiny bun. Slightly bigger than the biscuit. Tiny piece of chicken. Hot sauce. And like two or three just loose, loose Cheetos on top of the sandwich, which inevitably have, you know, fallen off by the time you've gotten it home. And is unpleasant to eat, because like, what is... I can understand Cheetos on a sandwich that's on like a long hoagie roll, because they nestle in there. But on like a small hamburger bun, it doesn't make any sense. It's not ergonomic. It's all gonna fall apart. And it did. And it's bad. And it was just a regular old bad chicken. So that motivated me to make my own version where I actually put a whole bunch of hot Cheetos inside of a plastic bag, took a rolling pin, beat the, the cheesus out of it, Got it down really fine, then just took the chicken that I'd been marinating in like pickle juice for a day, dropped it in an egg wash, dropped it in the Cheetos, and I put it in the air fryer, and it air fried up beautifully, moist on the inside, crispy red Cheetos outside, that really like looks spectacular. That is perfection. Cheetos air fry really well. I also did like a Cheetos crusted cheeseburger with cheese in the center. 
that was super good too. I need to make some more Cheetos chicken is the whole point I'm getting to. And I also need to vacuum after all this. Because there's crispy chicken skin stuff getting everywhere. All right, this big piece is a little bit dry. But that's why we have two sauce. Spicy Cajun goodness, cheese, 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 Jesus crust, in you I trust, give me your blessing, you must, dare I say, if I die today, let me sit by your side, and I will confide all my cheesy secrets to you, my Jesus, believe us, and free us. Mm. I'm gonna have to save these two bad boys for later. Or offer them to my wife. Though I did already give her a whole tub of rice and beans because she said she liked it so much. I ordered her a separate order. She told me to order a small, but I ordered her a large because I love her. And I want her to be happy. Bone. Okay, I think, yeah, I think that's it. Very good. Mm. And I'm going to go wash up. I'm going to drink water. This is like, you ever have one of those nights where you just binge on pizza? And then the whole night, you're getting up out of bed, and you're drinking water over and over again, and your mouth feels so dry. And even if you didn't have any alcohol to drink, you feel like hungover from the dehydration. This is gonna be like that. Yeah, I can already tell. I can feel like the saltiness sucking the life out of my body and my mouth. Not that it tasted overly salty, but I just ate a lot of it. Ooh, okay, I love you guys. This is I love you in sign language if you haven't caught on. You know, you guys know I'm doing like ASL signs in my videos when I'm not talking. I just finger spell because it's mostly what I know, and um, for anybody watching, it's easy to learn the alphabet, and then you can tell what I'm saying to you. So look up free videos to learn how to like do the alphabet in ASL, American Sign Language, and you'll know what I'm saying in those videos. Okay, bye guys. I love you so much.